I am Saud and in this video we will implement process scheduling using the round robin technique. Let's say we have three processes P1, P2 and P3 and let's say their burst times are 2, 1 and let's say 4. Now in round robin technique each process is given the CPU's time for a given quantum and then the next process in the queue gets control of the CPU. A quantum is the time space or the amount of time. If my quantum is, uh, is 2 units then P1 will be executed for 2 units, then it will be P2's turn and then it will be P3's turn. In this example, let's say my quantum is uh, 1. So each process gets hold of the CPU for one quantum of time. And then it will have to give control to the next process in the queue. I'll draw the queue. Let's say this is my queue and uh, the processes are ordered in this fashion P1, P2 and P3. So P1 will be executed first for one quantum of time and now its remaining burst time is 1 and it will join the queue at the back. Next is P2's turn. P2 will execute for one quantum of time, so the remaining burst time is zero. And it won't join at the back because it has completed its execution. Next is P3's turn. P3 will be executed for one quantum of time, and its remaining burst time will be three. It will join the queue at the end. Next, P1 gets hold of the CPU for one quantum and now the burst time of uh, remaining burst time of P1 is 0 so it won't join the queue again next is P3's turn P3 will get hold of the CPU for one quantum of time remaining burst time of P3 will be 2 it will join the queue at the back the next in line is P3 again the burst time remaining is 1 and it will join the queue at the back Next is again P3 and now its burst time will be 0. This was process scheduling using the round robin technique. Now while we are doing this, if other processes arrive in between, then they will simply join the queue at the back and the scheduling will carry on in the round robin manner. Thank you very much for listening and I hope this video helps you.